hey what's going on guys uh, let's do this problem right here so we have three polyatomic ions and let's see how we can draw the Lewis dot diagram for each of these so first uh, let's do this for OH minus so OH minus right here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just write the oxygen first oxygen and we know that uh, valence electron, electron for oxygen is going to be six so let's for the six electrons right here one two three four five six and if you see we have two lones lone pairs already so we can put like this two lone pairs and we have hydrogen right here hydrogen only have one electron one valence electron now we have to combine this one with this one to form a bond right so let's uh, combine this one and see what happens. So if I combine this one, I can take one um, one uh, unpaired electron to connect with this one. So make a connection that's going to create a bond. So we are going to have this old as H. Hydrogen can only have maximum of two, so we have two already. But uh, for the oxygen, these two lone pairs going to remain, and also one of these dot is going to be there so we know that uh, these two are lone paired lone pair and we need so if you count we have two with four six seven so we need eight electrons to uh, get this one into octate uh, format right so what we are going to do we are going to add one more electron and if I add one more electron this will become the whole thing is going to be minus because we are adding one more electron so this is the Lewis dot diagram for OH minus so let's do this one for NO2 minus so this is for one so let's go for NO2 minus so NO2 minus let's let's put the, all the atoms first so nitrogen is going to have five valence electron one two three four five right and let's put oxygen we have two oxygen right here one two three four five six for oxygen have six valence electrons and each of them has six so one two three uh, I have to go like this but it is going to be like this anyway so one two three four five six right six valence electron and if you notice we have one lone pair for this one two lone pair, pair for this one two lone pair for this one each of them need uh, eight electrons have octet format right so what we have to do we have to combine these two and make bonds so let's make the bonds and see what happens so let's bring them together so I'm gonna connect these uns uh, unpaired bonds with the, this one so unpaired bond, if I connect unpaired bond, one of these is going to be something like this O and another unpaired bond I can connect with the other O right and this one has two each of them, each of the oxygen has two lone pairs so I have to put these two lone pairs and nitrogen already have one lone pair and if you connect one of these dot one dot is gone and if you connect other oxygen with one of these dot, other dot also gone. One dot is remaining. So we have to put the one dot right here. For the oxygen, it's same thing. We have connected one dot, but we have one more dot remaining, right? Each of the oxygen has one dot remaining. And so here we have this format. So what I can do right here, I can connect this one dot with one of these dot to make another bond right so let's put all the all the lone pairs in a box so we have one lone pair two lone pair three lone pair and here here we have another lone pair and we have connected this one but we have one more right here we have to do something about this here this nitrogen has eight already two these two or three bonds right here three bonds means six electrons this one has eight this oxygen has 8 already, 2, 4, 6, 8. This one has only 7, 2, 4, 6, 7, right? So 
this one needs one more electron to co become octet form so what we do we just add one more electrons so if I add one more electron the whole thing is going to be negative because we are adding one more electron so that's going to be one negative right so that's the that's the structure of this one that's the lowest structure for this NO2 minus so let's go for the next one right here so we have here we have BH2 plus so let's put the boron boron and we have two hydrogen so boron has three valence electron so one two three right here hydrogen has one valence electron one right here and another hydrogen one valence electron and hydrogen can only have maximum of two two electrons so that's the, that's one thing we have to know and let's do the connection so we can connect one of these dot with each hydrogen so one dot with this hydrogen one of these dot with the other hydrogen and see what happens so we are connecting one dot so we are going to have one dot like dash H and another dash H and we are left with one more electron right here and since we have one extra we have to remove this one right so we have to remove this one so to remove if I remove this one what what we are going to have we are going to have a plus if you notice if we gain like if we want one if we take one electron this will become minus and if you remove one electron this will become plus so that's the thing about Lewis diagram and this is how we draw this is how we draw this diagrams I hope you guys like this video see you next time